This is Tao Witness News Report. Special report, that is. This is uh, uh, Tao Witness News. And yes, and yesterday, what was yesterday? Um, Friday. Friday, yes, yesterday was Friday. And George Bush got his Inaugurated. oath. His oath. The oath is I do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of of the President of the United States and will do best of my ability to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. It's and, uh, what's his face? George Bush. Is that? No, I mean, Quayle is a president. Vice president. Vice president, sorry. <clears throat> okay, and now for the weather. Hi. Right now, I'm going to do the weather. Weather around the world. Now, where it goes, nobody knows. Right here in China. A nice place in China. It's gonna be, let me see. It's gonna be cold in China. Let me pick another place. Mm -hmm. Albora, Algeria. Yeah, Algeria. It's gonna be kind of hot. And Niger, and Chad, Sudan, Ethiopia, they're all going to be warm because they're near the equator. Now, let's, alright, right here, Italy, to make good pizza and pasta. Right now, we're going to do Mexico, it's going to be hot there because it's orange and make tamales and tacos and spicy food. That's why it's going to be hot there today. Right now, we're going to do the United States. California is going to be hot. Um, This place over here is going to be hot. Texas is going to be hot. Right now, we're going to do Connecticut, our home state. And I already got a map of Connecticut drawn out for you right here. Okay, right here is Connecticut. Over here, it's going to be 60 degrees below. Shelton, we don't know. And right here, our hometown, Bridgeport, it's going to be um, 50 degrees below. We are right here, around the coast, right here. Long Island, that's where our friend Paul lives. And weather for tomorrow, I don't know. But let's, we all as kids know that we hope it will. That's right, boys and girls, snow. Snow, what kind of snow? Hard. Snow hard tomorrow. That's our prediction. Well, that was the weather. That was the weather. Thank you. Yeah, Connecticut's a nice place. Oh, yeah, Connecticut is a very nice place. I agree with the weatherman. Yeah, so much for this now. No, the We're weatherman has great looks. You know, he must take after me, you know? Yeah. Oh. Gotta finish fishing. Do your pen there. Yeah. Well, right now we're gonna we go to uh, Alex. Alex has a. Yeah, Alex. Yeah, his name is Alex. He looks a lot like me. Yeah, he looks like him. Yeah, he's my twin brother. Um. And he's gonna have an interview with um, Mr. Bush. Our and yeah, Mrs. Mrs. Bush. Um, our president, Mr. Bush, our forty-one president, and Barbara Bush, who looks like she could go on Weight Watchers or Deal now. Yeah. Okay. So if if you really want a lot more information about this stuff, just read the bridge for a post. But don't deliver it. Don't get it delivered by anybody. Because, because you get it late and yeah. bad quality. That's right, bad quality. Might be cheaper, but yeah, Okay, and now for our special news bulletin. Bush's house until today. Ronald Reagan thought it was fair that they should move into their new home. This orange truck. We are now at George and Barbara Bush's house. George Bush has been inaugurated as the 41st President of the United States of America. We are now going to ask George and Barbara Bush some questions. 
Mr. Bush, I heard that you went to Spanky's Arcade um, in Bridgeport, Connecticut. And I heard that you might be, be you were playing Pac-Man and, and you might be, be become the Pac-Man champion. How did, um, does that have a nice feel to you? And um, what are your feelings about you being called this? It doesn't have the, the um, dramatic feeling I thought it might have. But I am, I want to go and try to do my best. Barbara, do you, Barbara Bush, do you think that, um, are you proud of your husband being called the Pac-Man King at, um, at a Bridgeport? Well, I'm very proud of George. I'm not nervous or scared. Every now and then I think, though, I won't see that again until we get to the White House. The White House. Or, um, he really is going to have to face those problems. And, and he can do it. I know he can. But mostly I'm thinking about... It's very interesting, Barbara, that you're very proud of your husband. But, um, George, now we're going to get on the serious side of questions about our country, of course. Um, when Ronald Reagan was in term, I heard he brainwashed, like, people, like Ali Norse, about the Iran-Contra scan. Um, and I hear during your term of period, you're going to brainwash the Russians. What, what are you going to brainwash? With peace. An America that's, uh, whose people are better off. A lot of people in this country that are... Hurt. Oh, peace. Hmm, that's, that's very nice, um, Giorgio. Um, Barbara, I'm going to ask you another question. Um, your hus well, your husband and I, you know, last night, we had another talk, and we went to a bar, and he ordered light beer. And he said it was less filling. And I told him it tasted great. And I just wanted you to help us with this problem. What do you think, and what does your family think about this question I'm asking you? Uh, I'm, I, I just have made a vow I'm not going to get into things I disagree or agree with George on because I was not elected to office, and... Um... This is Gorbachev. I have another question for 